Hey there, Ron Sullivan, your online hitting consultant. Let's talk about the disconnect of the kinetic chain that I see with a lot of kids, right? So we put a lot of emphasis these days on creating and maximizing your separation between the upper half and the lower half, right? And we'll often talk about shoulder angles and hip to shoulder angles and the separation between those things obviously are characteristics of players that hit a ball really hard and far. But a lot, what I've seen with kids is we oftentimes get the cart before the horse where instead of teaching the properties of the, the, the true properties of kinetic chain, we teach the visual properties of kinetic chain. So the visual properties, I just tell a kid, hey, your hips aren't starting early enough. And I'm going to show you something that I see with kids at all levels, right, that have been told all their life, hips, fire the hips before the hands. Now, I don't think that's a bad cue. Please don't take this the wrong way. But it can go the wrong direction for you if the player is translating that information as I've got to twist my lower half right? And then everything's going to come through. That is not the proper response from the ground up that you want. The kinetic chain is more connected than that, but a lot of times the way we teach it, we disconnect the kinetic chain. So I see a lot of slow motion video of kids that are learning to hit that get to really good separation points that have been told, get that early start with the lower half, right? And then here's what happens with these kids. Some kids that are real extreme, They've been told all their life that they're not using their hips and their legs enough, and they'll get all the way to this point, right, where they've finished and completed whatever they're trying to do with their lower half or whatever they think a good lower half move is. They'll get all that done, and everything's still back here. And so what you see from this point forward is the hands and arms, and that's all you see, right? And so these kids continually are being pushed. Well, you're not using your lower half enough. You're not leaving. These kids are maxed out. They've, they've, they've had full rotation of their hips. And then their hands and everything are catching up because they've been told separation is king. You got to have more power, hips before the hands, and they're doing exactly what you're telling them to do. What you want to do with your young player is have them understand the kinetic chain a little bit more naturally than that, right? As an athlete, if the athlete doesn't understand it, if he just understands it visually, but he doesn't understand it physically, right? You're not going to have a kinetic chain. I have seen so many kids that have what we would consider textbook separation as they're dropping in and have zero power. Tons of kids these days are like that because YouTube has lots of drills that say, you know, stop and start to launch and things like that. They know where to go, but they don't know how athletes naturally create those positions. And that separation things for another video. Right now, we're going to talk about the kinetic chain and making sure that you don't allow your player to disconnect the kinetic chain. All right, so I do a lot of drills in the uh, – well, a drill in the Fundamental Perfection Program. We don't use a bat. You can. Um, uh, but we're basically – I take a player from the isolation work. And so first we've got to start – give them a simple way um, to address some of the things they've been working on on the ground in terms of uh, approach and so forth. Right, and make it simple when they go to their feet. And so we get them in what a lot of people would call a launch position and just have them fire from there. I call it dynamic balance because I want a player to understand – that their relationship to the ground is something that they don't understand, right? So kids, when you put them in the dynamic balance drill at first, and the rules are no pre-swing, no timing move for, for this drill. We're just getting it all back, boom, and unloading the bat. When you put a kid in that position, right, and they may immediately have to go, oh, I'm going to, I got to get a little weight to scoot forward. I got to go back. I got to scoot. I got to go back, go scoot, because everything kids do is on top of the ground. From the ground up, that's the start of the kinetic chain, from the ground up, they don't understand that relationship. So, you know, I want a player to feel from this position. And the reason why I have this bad here, you can see Eric Hosmer. You'll see a lot of guys do something like this in their BP where they're trying to get their feet set in the ground and they just sit back and hit because they know that energy comes from the ground. Eric Hosmer, I think, said that he's trying to feel the ground, right? It's really important for your player as they're growing the game to understand as an athlete, my body's relationship to the ground. So I'm going to just throw a simple idea at you. You don't have to use this as a drill. You're the coach there. Just understand this concept and you're going to be able to create any drills you want to around this. So this is a 10 pound ball. Let's say that I wanted to practice. Um, the goal in this is just to get to a hitting position and then throw this ball as hard as I could. All right. So I do about 20 of those. And then suddenly, let's say it's a competition now, throwing heavy balls from the hitter's position. And I wanted a perfect drill to get better at throwing this as far as I can. And so you would think, okay, well, based on slow motion video of the greatest heavy ball throwers on the planet, you would say, okay, well, watch how his hips go first. And the, and the longer I can keep this back as the hips go, then I'm going to be able to throw this harder. Well, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to know this. You don't have to be a hitting instructor. Um, you can instantly get this in your brain if you think about having a 10-pound ball and you want to throw it as hard as you can 
you're not going to do this and you're not going to do this. You're not going to try to twist your hips and then throw that. That's a, that's the main disconnect of the kinetic chain. And a lot of times that comes from misinterpretation of guys that watch you or the guys that show you slow motion swings of pros and say, look at the stretch and all these things. Well, if you don't understand this concept that we're talking about today, you can have all those things moving really pretty and it's not going to, it's not going to make any difference. So I need a drill for throwing this heavy ball as hard as I can. So, you know, instead of doing a drill where we're going to practice turning our hips first, keeping this back and then throwing it, we're going to practice creating energy from the ground up. So a good drill for this, throwing the ball as far as you can, would be taking this back and then hammering to here and then stopping here. Now, you hear that and you go, well, you just completely shut your lower half down, Ron. That's not something we're looking for for hitters. What I did, if you feel that on your own at home, and you've got to have a heavy thing like this, and the bat is just to kind of keep me grounded and locked in, but you'll feel that the lower half is kind of tightening. It's getting stronger from the ground up. It's grabbing the ground. Whereas what most kids will do, when you do this drill, they'll go, or, right? You want them to stay grounded, solid, boom, and go as hard as they can to that position, boom, right? With the hips staying as neutral as possible. And let's say again, this is a drill for just throwing the heavy ball as far as you can. Well, now I'm going to follow that up and I'm going to say, all right, now, now go ahead and throw. So I felt this uh, over and over again, stopping. Well, now I'm going that direction, right? I'm throwing out there, right? So I'm going to take this and naturally what you're going to see, you slow motion, put slow motion video on that. You're going to see that the player is naturally, their lower half's going to turn, boom, and they're going to throw. But what you're building in is not a disconnect of the kinetic chain, but building an understanding from the ground up the kinetic chain. So we want early hip to shoulder separation, but if it's not coming from the right feelings, if it's not coming from energy producing things from the ground up, it's just a bunch of disconnected pieces and parts. That is kids hitting 101, right? And so just watching a bunch of guys drawing lines and saying, this is what the pros look like. You need to do that. That's not going to help your kid. Your kid needs to understand from the ground up how all this stuff works together. And that's, that's where you're going to have the real advantage. Ron Sullivan, your online hitting consultant. Thanks.